Twitter and Google, we're at Googling. If we're on Instagram, we're Instagramming. But what about this? Anyways, let's talk about what actually happens when you write something on your Edge browser. For example, if we got this URL over here, pssst, the website has been updated to get quizzes, flashcards, and everything. Make sure you go there, link in bio. How does the browser know where to actually go? Well, this is where the DNS comes. What the DNS does is that it converts this URL into an IP address, because that's what browsers understand. That's all for GCSE, but if you're A-level, you're gonna need to know much more. What happens first is that the cache is checked, now, if it doesn't exist there, it checks the root server. Now, you can think of this as like a hierarchy where we have root and then this is the top level domain and this is the second level domain and then you have many more. If it's there, it sends it back. If it's not, then it goes to the authoritative name server, which then sends the IP address back up the chain and then it gets stored in your cache for the next time you go on that website. 